Hi guys. In this video, I'm not going to make paint, but I'm going to show you some paint. This is Yintico Red, the pink sibling of Yinmin Blue. It stands for uh, Yttrium, Indium, Titanium, Cobalt. So it's a combination of different chemical substances than Yinmin, which does have uh, Yttrium and Indium in it but that also has manganese in it. Um, the interesting thing about this is it's a granulating red pigment. Because of the temperature changes during shipping, the tube kind of poured out when I opened it. So um, I put it in a pen, just going to wet a brush. I'm going to show you what this new pigment looks like on paper from this brand, obviously. Um, it's a very new pigment, which means it's not being mass produced. And um, if you want to order it, it's very hard since it's made on order. It's not available um, for consumers. Um, I ordered some of the pigment and it's being made for me as we speak. So uh, the amount I ordered is being made uh, especially for me. As you can see, this paint is slightly granulating. It's a beautiful pinkish red. A granulating red pigment is always very exciting. Um, we do have some examples of those. We have Potter's Pink, which is a granulating red pigment and ultramarine rose or ultramarine pink, which is also a granulating PR pigment. Um, I think it looks kind of like a combination of these, um, but a friend of mine on Instagram said it actually reminded her more of a combination between Potter's Pink and Quinacridone Magenta. She made a mix and she came very close to this very color. So, um, that is, you know, with Yin Min, you can kind of mix it with Cobalt and Ultramarine and get the same kind of hue. Um, so most pigments could be replaced by a mix of other pigments to get a similar hue on paper. Um, with watercolors, sometimes it's more difficult since you have pigments that are staining, granulating, um, and, you know, mixing Quinacridone Magenta and Potter's Pink does give you the granulation of the Potter's Pink, so um, it is a good option. There is something else I want to show you. Um, this is a more dried swatch of it, so you can see the granulation a bit better here. But there is something else I want to show you, um, since this has cobalt, um, which could gives a, give us lovely violets. Um, This is also a cobalt pigment. This is PB73, as you can see here, with <laughs> clearly written marker. Um, it is a PB pigment, but it gives me a violet, which is very interesting. Um, the chemical composition of this pigment and the way how it's manufactured uh, decides what kind of chemical number it gets, so uh, the PB73 uh, is for a certain chemical composition of a pigment, which stands for pigment blue 73, but this is a violet version. It's nothing like this, this is um, warmer, whereas this is cooler, but I just wanted to show you this is a pigment that I uh, will make into paint for my shop in the near future. Um, I swatched it last week and I've just found it very interesting to see it uh, as a cobalt pigment which is violet but has pigment number PB73 for it. Uh, guys hope you like it if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel like this video leave it comment down below what you think of the new Yintico Red of Schmincke. I will share uh, my version of it as soon as I get my hands on it. Hope to see you soon.